Hey guys, this is Nick here with What Game Now, and apologies for the uh, current view. We'll fix that in a moment. But I was a backer for the BattleTech Clan Invasion Kickstarter, and the box has arrived. So I figured let's just go ahead and share this wonderful moment with everyone as I go through what is a very large box of stuff. Let me adjust the focus here. All right. Uh, for scale purposes, the box looks to be about 18 by 15 by 18, or 18 by 15 by 15, so it's an absolutely huge box. <clears throat> bubble wrap, bubble wrap, and bubble wrap. So let's go ahead and get going here. Um, Quartermaster Logistics is the outfit that went ahead and shipped this. Let me tweak our brightness here. Uh, if there's any issues, I can bug them. Fantastic. And let's get going here. Intersphere Command Lance. So, Archer, Marauder. What is that? A Stinger and a Wasp? Stinger and a Valkyrie. So, Intersphere Command Lance. Intersphere a Battle Lance. Looks like a Warhammer. Rifleman, a Phoenix Hawk, and a Wasp. I double check what that guy was. Uh, the boxes aren't super big, which explains why the box is about the size it is. Uh, another Battle Lance. Should be three of them in the box, all told. The uh, Legendary Mech Warriors. So these are alt sculpts for the Archer, Timberwolf, Marauder, and Direwolf. Or Mad Cat and Daishi, if you prefer. For named characters, so cool. Uh, Intersphere Command Lance number two. Um, some of these are for a buddy of mine, which is why there's multiples. And then our first clan box, the Heavy Striker Star. Uh, what is that? Mad Dog, Dragonfly. Sorry. In Intersphere Parlance, Gargoyle, Hellbringer, Mad Dog, Ice Ferret, and Viper. Box Elementals. So let's, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Battletech, that's Power Armored Infantry. Elemental Box number two. Uh, there's Intersphere Battle Lance number three. Uh, Clan Command Star. So, Direwolf, Nova, Summoner, Shadowcat, and what is that, a Lynx? Stormcrow. Okay, what else is in the box? Alright, that is it for the loose packs. <coughs> Salvage boxes. So these are just single loose models. <coughs> Excuse me, fighting allergies here. So these are just single loose models. Um, four clanners, an urban mech, it's a guaranteed urban mech, and a legendary, so it's an extra one of the uh, legendary box. We got some cards, which I think are Alpha Strike character cards, Mercenaries deck, Champions of the Inner Sphere, and Patch and Dice for the best clan. Somebody has to wrap them. <clears throat> and then what is in this? Interesting. Um, oh yeah, these are the reinforcement packs. Wait. Reinforcement pack? Reinforcement pack. So this is uh, Clan Retaliation. It is an extra copy of everything in the base box. Yes. So the base um, box set comes with these five mechs. This is just the second copy of them. Challenge coin. And then working our way through here. Another box to open. Um, Inner Sphere Retaliation set. Uh, what this is, is this is the um, contents of the Game of Armored Combat and Battletech starters, just separate models. So another 10 mechs there. 
And then what else do we have here? T-shirt. Clan Wolf. This would be a fairly nice t-shirt. Excellent faction logo. Uh, quality of the print looks pretty good. Looks pretty durable. Um, I assume there's special care instructions on here. That's what it's made out of. Made in Haiti, not China. That's interesting. No instructions. Um, I'll have to go hunt the manufacturer. Ooh, it's even got Battletech on the back. <clears throat> so, cool. Always good to have a t-shirt. Posters. There's three of them. Let's see what we've got. Alright, so poster number one. I'm going to pull them off screen and then we can talk about them here. So poster number one is double-sided. It is the... Really cool piece of art. It's an elemental tearing a phoenix hawk apart. And then on the back is personally my favorite piece of art to come out of this whole Kickstarter. If you've ever seen the images of like a tank or an aircraft with all their weapons pulled out, they did the same thing with a timber wolf. So it's got all of its ammo pulled out and everything. Um, I'm going to see if I can frame that one. I really like that one. I got a hobby shed. It needs some stuff to fill it. Uh, this one, um, I believe this is the box set art, or at least a copy of it. Uh, a bunch of Jade Falcons beating the crap out of some Lyrans. And the opposite side is a clan warrior piloting a war... No, it's not clan warrior. Somebody piloting a warhammer shooting at a rifleman. So there's the rifleman actually down the little corner right there. It's hard to tell, but... It's a Warhammer. So that's picture number two. And then picture number three. Ooh. So baseline clan invasion artwork. Um, this is the thing they've been plastering everywhere. And a map of the clan home worlds. So cool posters. Posters are always good. Uh, what's in here? Record sheets. So these are books of various record sheets. It's like one of those old... The quality of this is like... You remember in, in like high school or something like that, you take a standardized test and they give you this giant paper book? Uh, this is about the quality of it. Which isn't bad, but I think I'm going to have to cut it and I want to laminate all these, but it's record sheets for... Punches of mechs. Always appreciated. I don't usually play regular battle tech, so I'm not sure how much mileage I'm going to get out of these, but um, personally, I'm an Alpha Strike fan myself. What else do we got here? Oh, 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 there's more little stuff I missed. Legendary cards. Pin. Uh, Clan Codex dog tags. And the Dagger Star Keychain, so another swag. What do I got here? Uh, Battle of Tukiyid Map Pack. Hmm, where's the best way to open this? Hmm. Let's get a sharp object here. This is the maps that came with the Kickstarter. Um, and they're Battle of Tukia, for those of you who know Battletech. I only have one, two, three, four maps. Some fire tokens. <laughs> oh, I gotta mess with them steel vipers. Devil's Bath, I'm assuming. Um, again, if you uh, have no idea what Battletech lore is, Tukiyid's a really important battle around this particular campaign. 
Um, there's a YouTube channel called Critical Rocket where he does a, a video going over all of these and he, he explains the battles and all that. Um, these are all pretty significant, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's... Um, it might be for the Ghost Bears too. I forget. They have it on here. Robin's Crossing. Whole forest. So that was also lit on fire. But... And the maps are double-sided. Um, they are not neoprene. They are a very fine-grade paper. Um, I feel like I'd want to go through and laminate those. And then this here is special rules. Yeah. Fire and smoke there at Hall Forest. And I guarantee if we go to Devil's Bath back here, geysers may erupt and annihilate things. Yep. So that's that. Standees. Uh, one of the great things I like about Battletech is they provide you a little standee for each of uh, the mechs. Uh, as you can see, these are full color, double sided. Um, I'm not going to open them just because they're a bunch of them and they pop out. But it lets you play without um, needing a physical miniature, which I always appreciate. Okay. One more thing left in here, as far as I can tell. Let me just double check here. Yeah, that's it. Alright. The last thing. La piste de resistance. The whole point of this Kickstarter. Yeah, break the seal. Battletech, the clan invasion. This is the Kickstarter exclusive alternate art uh, for the box set. And I must say, right off the bat, very nice chunky box. So I like to keep boxes for model storage and transport. Uh, this is a nice gloss finish. Mm. This might just go on a display shelf. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The Bonds of Battle by Blaine Lee Pardo. Uh, we got a nice short story here. Very cool. Um, it's also worth noting here that they're starting to use people from the, um, I believe David Vivas is one of them, from the back uh, the Kickstarter. So if you back high enough, you get a canon character. Um, I did for the record, so I got, I got a canon character. And then you're going to start sprinkling them in throughout the stories. And I believe this is one of the first publishes. Um, Alpha Strike cards for everybody. And some dice. Can't play a miniature game without dice. More mechs and elementals. So this is that reinforcement pack I showed you earlier. It's the same mechs. It includes a couple of bases of infantry. And then, I'm going to pull this off screen so I can just show you the, the outcomes. Uh, we have a Clan Invasion Primer. God, I love the artwork on these things. Um, what do we got in here? Uh, universe, Battletech in the Eras. Uh, that is the post-Clan Invasion Inner Sphere. Post Clan Invasion? I believe that's Post Clan Invasion. Yeah. But with just different uh, factions pulled out. Okay. Uh, information on the founding of the clans. Talking about blood names. Got the uh, some nice colorized artwork back there. And it looks to be like the old 80s art. Some people aren't too thrilled with the change in aesthetic. But I, I personally like the more realistic stuff. The other stuff just looks a little goofy to me. Um, those are all the clans that were involved. We got the Reserve Clans, Diamond Shark, uh, Nova Cat, and Steel Viper. Uh, Operation Revival. And a glossary of clan terms, because clan, if you're not familiar with Battletech, um, clans are a highly militarized society with their own jargon and stuff like that. It's really cool that they go ahead and point those out. Um, and then we've also got 3025, uh, 3052 maps. Talking a little bit what Omnimex and Elementals are, and pumping some of their tech readouts. Clan Invasion, the rule book. Um, what do we got in here? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, these are, um, appears to be the core Battletech rules. Yeah, it's the core Battletech rules, but only really working with the, uh, clan stuff, but it goes through some cool stuff. Um, even if you don't play Battletech, 
There's some excellent stuff back here, like the force building. They do a really good example of talking about how clan uh, military units are organized. Um, because clans do not use a traditional organization structure. It even has rules for Zelbrigan, which is really cool. Um, again, clan term for one-on-one uh, -on -one honorable combat. Some scenarios. Um, sorry, guys, I'm not showing you the artwork here. Um, additional scenarios and a gallery of painted models. And those appear to be the new plastics. So some new plastics. What is this? Just a blank picture. Okay. So Onimax got some cool scenarios. Force building tells you like, okay, how is your army actually organized? Um, I, I like this. There's a, a rule section for clan honor. Zelbergen is an actual rule. Um, one of the biggest complaints I've heard against people who did not like the clans at launch was in the Battletech universe, the clans are a high-tech enemy. And when people were playing with and against the clans, they weren't playing the clans like they're supposed to be played in universe. And that makes the clans comedically overpowered. I like that they actually put rules in there to say, no, this is how Zelbrigan works. You actually have to play with Zelbrigan. Uh, tech readouts. So uh, more just force record sheets. We'll get to that in a moment. I think my set. I love the posters here. Um, Battle set quick reference card. Nice chunky, uh, heavy cardstock. Very nice. So we didn't see it. Card. More standees. Which is always appreciated. Um, and then we've got another two double-sided maps. So very, uh, I, I like the box set. I don't know what the retail is. I think it's like 50 bucks retail. Um, very attractive box set. Works very well, I think, for both Baseline, Battletech, and Alpha Strike. Um, I think Alpha Strike, personally, is a superior one. Um, <clears throat> physical quality of the product appears to be very good. No real commentary there. And the last thing I need to show off came in that box. And I think this is really, really cool. So this is a double-sided map. And it's a double-sided map of the entire inner sphere, 3025, and then the other side is 3052, which is post-clan invasion. And glorious. Um, it is a nice glossy finish, so it feels like a very, very chunky poster. Um, this is something that I, I legitimately think I might get framed. Um, that, the Mad Cat, um, just getting built out. Man, those two, I, I love those two. I got a hobby building that I need to start putting some artwork in. kind of want to see these. Um, interesting question. Um, I got one quick question I want to answer myself here. They do not. Okay. Um, if you've played the recent Battletech um, by Hairbrain Schemes, there's a new uh, little periphery state called the Oregon Reach. It is not on that map, which is really unfortunate. All right. Do I have everything from the box? Because I'm about to start using the box. Yeah, I have everything from the box. Fantastic. Well, guys, um, we're at 18 minutes here. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut it here. Probably going to uh, immediately pick up after this and just start working on a second video of me just going through everything. We can look at the models. Um, initial, uh, might as well close off with that, just kind of an initial look at the models here. Um, you can go through a detail on them later. These are plastic. I know boo is plastic, but you know, they don't look too bad for plastic. Um, Battletech's always had an issue with their plastic models. These look pretty decent. I mean, it's not GW quality, but at the same time, for small piece, uh, small part number casts, the back looks a little hideous, but eh, I guess it doesn't look too bad. I uh, got the Puma here. I think the detail might be a little bit soft in a few places. I'm um, like the back here, um, the back on the Timberwolf Mad Cat as well, I think. It looks better in the light, but in person, it's a little bit shallow in a few places. Um, one thing I do appreciate 
is all of the mechs are now consistently to scale with each other. Uh, this guy... That guy looks pretty good. I think that one turned out pretty well. I have the Nova. Cockpit details a little bit light, but again, I think a solid release. For the price point and the intent here, I, I really have to give them credit. Yeah, this one's a little bit soft in a few places, right there in that center back, right there in the legs, which I think are a little questionable, but still not bad. How the infantry look? <laughs> okay, they have a full five guys on each base for the infantry. That's actually really good. Um, for those of you familiar with Battletech, uh, these are called elementals. Um, they're supposed to come five to a uh, point. Hold off camera here. I can see the head crest detail, which is pretty good. There's one guy here, looks like he's reloading. It was a little bit soft, but yeah, hey, that's not too bad. I really can't argue with that. Um, a quick comparison, though, would be the Game of Armored Combat models that came out before them. And I think it's safe to say, you know, we drop these side by side, there's a clearly these are much better quality than these. Um, these are not necessarily bad. They were they're what I would consider to be get the job done quality. But, I mean, just, just put them side by side here. Let me get up close and let me tweak my focus here. There we go. You can just see the difference. Gladiator, awesome. I mean, the, the lines are a little bit deeper, which help them show up better. The angles are crisper and cleaner. Um, still got some, like, some of the light detail and all that. Like, the arm looks better than the leg on this guy. The leg looks on par, but you go to the back. Um, this guy's a pretty well-defined back detail. But, I mean, you can see individual little vents right there. So, I, I think we've got a clear jump in quality. Uh, keep pulling out here. So, this is the Commando. Yeah, I don't think there's a discussion that the quality here is a clear improvement. I wouldn't say it's a full step of improvement, but it's it's definitely an improvement. Like, I mean, look at the back on this thing. I, I rip on these models, but at the same time, they get the job done. The uh, the old the currently in production Inner Sphere ones. They get the job now. I can't really argue with them. They do a perfectly reasonable job. Oops. I dropped a locust. Let me uh, get him back here. Make sure antenna. Yeah. Uh, how's the catapult look? The catapult doesn't look too bad. Granted, there's not much detail on a catapult. It's just a torso with a couple rockets. Um. Yeah, so initial feedback, I think the models are a clear improvement. I like how big they are, and I like that they're internally consistent on scale. One of my biggest gripes with the Iron Man models is um, they don't know what scale is. Everything's just complete chaos. Let me fix the focus, guys. I apologize again. But, you know, I gave them credit. I think they did a pretty good job overall. Um, the artwork is fantastic. <laughs> it's hard to argue with the Battletech artwork. Um, I didn't open a deck of cards. Let's see what the, the deck's quality is like. Uh, you open here. Yeah, you open here. Okay, cool. I didn't open a deck yet. Let's open a deck and see what that looks like. So this is the uh, Legends Pack 1. Um, right off the bat, those are standard American A4 size trading card or um, size trading cards, which is always a good thing. They've got that little uh, plastic tear off ring around here. Cool. Ew. All right. There's a lot of cards here. Um, one thing I'm immediately going to complain about. Um, this is thinner paper than trading card games. 
much thinner paper than trading card games, um, which I consider to be a problem. That being said, I mean, the artwork looks pretty good. Um, the physical quality doesn't look too bad. Not much to complain about there. Um, they are a semi-gloss, eh, gloss finish, I'd argue. Um, but again, they're a little bit thinner than I would like. I think it's interesting to note here that, um, well, everything else was just the clans involved with the Inner Sphere invasion. This includes characters from all of them. There's a Goliath Scorpion. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Um, the, the card stock feels a little bit weak. Um, not that it's a super big deal, but card stock feels a little bit weak. The rest of the stuff feels pretty good overall. Um, I don't have much to complain about there. And you know me, I'll find something to complain about. I pull the keychain here. Closes off here in a few minutes. We're approaching the 30-minute mark. Um, this is a very nice chunky keychain. I actually think I might use it. Um, the ring feels a little... Eh, it felt plastic at first, but it, it might be metal. Not super sold in the ring, but I like the dagger. Um, dice themselves. We didn't open the dice. We already looked at the max. We already looked at the cards. It's a pretty decent size. They're reasonably rounded edges. Um, drilled out slots. We painted. Rolled terribly. Um, actually, I got one thing we can do before we close off. Let's open the salvage box and see what we got. They taped them shut. I can't blame them for taping them shut, but I'm mildly annoyed by the fact that they taped them shut. Nice. Alright, so this first one is the Urban Mech Salvage Box. Oh look, it's an Urban Mech. That's what it was supposed to be for. Um, some character cards and Alpha Strike. Always good. And then, the little Urban Mech. Very, uh, very nice. Oh, let's start the legend. Let's open the legend box. And the legend box is Natasha Kerensky. The Black Widow herself. And a nice, chunky uh, dire wolf or day she, if you prefer the Interstellar names. Alright, Natasha Currency is a good one. Um, I would have appreciated an Aiden Pride for the Alt Sculpt Timberwolf, but I got one of those anyway. Um, we got a Gargoyle slash Manowar. So, this is a little bit different than this. It's a different mech. This is a Gladiator execution, um, slash Executioner. This is the Gargoyle or Manowar if you prefer the Inner Sphere names. We got a Hellbringer slash Loki. I love the characters here. Fultz Hazen. Very nice. Um, I think the detail here is pretty well realized. The head's the only real questionable area, but at this scale, I'm not sure you can render a battle tech cockpit that looks decent. Two more, and we'll call it a day, guys. Trading cards. These are awesome. Uh, Mad Dog slash Vulture. I like that we haven't knock on wood. We haven't gotten any from already opened yet. So very nice chunky mech. I appreciate how big these are. They're gonna make painting really easy. There's plenty of room for decals. Um, I think it's Fighting Piranha. Not Fighting Piranha. Who the heck does the decals? Just a minute, guys. Games. They do the decals for these. Um, they also do the decals for Heavy Gear Blitz, which is really cool. So they're pretty good quality decals. Um, if you are going to use their decals, I highly recommend that you um, um, use Microsoft Microset. 
Oh, we didn't go four for four on new stuff. We got another Nova. Wait, no, we didn't get a Nova yet. No, we had a Puma. No, yeah, there, there's a Nova in here. Nova, Nova. Wait, there should be three of them. Uh, yeah, there he is. There's another Nova. There he is. All right, guys. Um, that's been Nick with What Game Now. It's like Kid in a Candy Store at Christmas. Uh, super nice quality pin here. As I keep digging through the toys here. Um, if you can't tell, um, I like Clan Wolf. We are going to be painting these guys as Clan Wolf. Um, see if we can live stream some of that. Um, for those of you curious, we're doing Clan Wolf Beta Galaxy. Which is a really cool split dark uh, dark gray slash black and um, the heck is it brain failure uh, Velcro patch. It's it's like a tan color. I'm um, kind of like a sandy color. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy on them. Codex dog. Tag. Um, can I put something in there? No. It'd have been really cool if I could put like a name tag in there or something. So guys, um, that's been Nick here with What Game Now. Um, I could be here for a few hours, but I'm going to stop eating up your time. This has been a uh, Kid in a Candy Store unboxing of the Battletech Kickstarter. There will be a second wave of this. Um, in theory... Um, they're quoting late 2021, early 2020, or I'm sorry, late 20 or early 21 for delivery on that. Um, it's actually bigger than this in terms of the amount of stuff coming. So when that comes, I uh, expect to see another one of these and we'll have more just, you know, freak outs over toy soldiers. So with that said, guys, this is Nick signing off for What Game Now. I will catch you on the next one. Hey, this is Dave. If you like what we're doing here at What Game Now, go ahead and click on one of the videos which should be on either side of me, or click right in the middle and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell once you subscribe so that you know when we have new videos. Please go ahead and share us with your friends. Let everybody know that we're here. Thank you for watching and thank you for all of our subscribers already. And we look forward to bringing you more content every chance that we get.